सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सहनावतु सह नौ भुन सह वीर्यकवाह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तुमा पृथ्वीषा वह शाति 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 नमो भगवते वैवस्वताय मृत्यवे ब्रह्म विद्याचार्याय न चिकेत से च That's chant number thirteen. <clears throat> अस्तिपलब्ध वर्ड अस्ति केम इन द प्रीवियस मंत्र नंबर ट्वेल्व जगत्कारण अस्ति Okay, this is the first step to understanding everything else that follows. Because that's what he is saying there. So asti iti brahmataha anyatra. If you don't accept Brahma asti, then katham tad upalam khete. Everything else is going to be meaningless because Brahma asti means what? I am nowhere in the picture. So the I has to come into the picture. Brahma asti means some Brahma is uh, jagat karan asti. Just like Big Bang Asti, whatever Asti scientists say, it's all Asti only. They are also intelligent people. Don't think uh, scientists are all stupid people and all Vedanta are great people. No, no. that is they are all thinkers. We need intellect. We need people who can think through all these things. So we we appreciate what science does. <clears throat> But we are only telling. If only science went uh, one step ahead, <laughs> we want we we pray for scientists. And so, and uh, so. अस्तीति ब्रह्मता अन्यत सो देर इज़ ए श्रद्धा इज़ देर श्रद्धा मीन्स व्हाट ब्रह्मा अस्ति जगत कारणम ब्रह्मा अस्ति इति दैट इज़ इम्पोर्टेंट व्हाई एंड देन दैट्स व्हाई शंकराचार्य गोस इनटू डिटेल अबाउट ऑल दिस असत वाली असत पीपल हु से असत पीपल हु से दिस काउंस ऑफ़ द यूनिवर्स इज़ एम्पटीनेस That is why the sambandha bhashim of this mantra number thirteen. What does he say? Tasman. Therefore, apo hya asadvadi paksham asuram. Tasman asuram asadvadi paksham apo hya. Therefore, one has to give up this 
any paksha other than this jagat karanam brahma asti this nasty business you have to get out of because that is asura paksham we discussed a lot about these things in the last class and it is it's of no use to anybody at all that as that asadvadi asadvadam is not useful to anybody and yeah, that we saw last time so here in this mantra is is taking us forward astiti eva upalabdhavya upalabdhavya nyatavya and has to know astiti eva brahma asti jagat karana astiti upalabdhavya tatva bhavena cha ubhayo last time i said then it will take us to that asmi astitvam will take me to asmitvam asmitvam has to come only then it will make a difference for for me for the jiva okay this is what i said last time and uh, shankaracharya will use the words sopadika and nirupadika asti asti brahma asti means what sagunam brahma asti sopadikam brahma asti ishvara asti sagunam brahma asti the jagat karanam is sagunam only and so sagunam brahma asti then that will take me to nirupadika brahma means a brahma which has no upadhi no upadhi means what brahma which has no form form is what i project on brahma brahma has no form if brahma has a form by now we would have discussed decided what the form is we would have studied but uh, punishad already we studied asabdam asparsham arupam avya arupa asabdam asparsham arupam avyam tatharasam nityam agandha vachayat as recently we saw in katha punishad so therefore that arupam brahma is nirgunam brahma and so that tattva bhava refers to that nirupadika brahma shankara is going to say that then both are identical what i said earlier also is identical asti from asti to asmi from sagunam brahma to nirgunam brahma or from sopadika brahma to nirupadikam brahma all these are identical statements so ubhayoho then ubhayoho should be connected with the second half of the mantra ubhayoho madhye <coughs> among the two asti teva upalabdhavyasya <coughs> tattva bhava prasidit okay so tattva bhavena visa was nirguna brahma gyanam okay so that tattva bhava word is used to refer to nirguna brahma gyanam and so among those two bhayo ho then for the person who understands asti iti sopadika brahma asti iti then tattva bhava prasidit then the reality of nirguna brahma also is revealed reveals itself prasidit Atva Bhava ha prasidati. The real nature of Atma will reveal itself to that person. That is what is being said here. So from, from that Sopadika Brahma to Nirupadika Brahma. From Astitva Brahma to Asmitva Brahma. Okay? That's what is being said in this mantra. So it's an important mantra as you can imagine. We don't get into this level of detail. Occasionally in Bhagavad Gita, we get into this detail, correct? And we just mention it. But here, it's, it's progressing in a very systematic manner. All right. So let's read the Bhashya. Okay. Asti iti eva. Asti iti eva. Atma upalabdhavya. Atma upalabdhya. Satkarya. Satkarya. Buddhya dupadhi. Buddhya dupadhi. Yeah. <clears throat> Pause with that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
So you can add one more. One more means what? <coughs> Sopadika Brahma, Nirupadika Brahma. Sagunam Brahma, Nirgunam Brahma. Asti Brahma, Asmi Brahma. You can add one more thing. What is it? Paroksham Brahma, Aparoksham. And also you can add. Because now these are all, we've heard all these words. Now with this, with this sutra is helping us connect all those things together. Yeah, Anirudhji, what's up? Uh, we added Asuram before Astitteva last class. Okay. Asuram Astitteva is what change we made to the notes last time. So I just... Oh, in the Sambandha Bhashyam? Is that what it yes, is? Yes, yes, Sambandha Bhashyam. Uh, not in the Sambandha Bhashyam. Uh, in the commentary, uh, before we had... Ast uh, maybe I have it wrong, but I thought I should ask you. Asuram Astiteva Atma Upalabdhavya. That's how we started the notes. Okay, no, that's not correct. That's not correct. Asuram is just the... Asadvadi Paksham is Asuram. Sadhvadi Paksham is a dangerous view. That's all. That's about it. So, <clears throat> so how can this is the this is a beautiful idea? Look at this. From Asti to Asmi, from Sopadikam Brahma to Nirupadikam Brahma. Brahma can't be both. Brahma has to be only one. Can't have two definitions for Brahma. Not possible. It's like this. It's like this. Sun is revolving around the earth. Yes or no, if you ask. Well, of course, sun is revolving around the earth. It's a common experience for everybody. So, this child is taught sun revolves around the earth. It takes The sun takes 24 hours to revolve around the earth. When it comes up in the morning, it's called daytime. And then in the middle of the day, it's up there. And then in the night, evening, it goes out there. Then for another 12 hours, you won't see it. It's dark. Then it will come back. So 12-hour day, that's how you get a 12-hour day and 12-hour night. Like that, you teach the child. The child appreciates it. The, 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 the child understands the universe partially. Understands it because... That's how it is. That's how it has to be taught. The child can't understand beyond that. Then let the allow the child to study a little science and geography and all that. Okay, some wrong history also should be taught. Aryan invasion theory and all it should learn. And then we people were the ignorant people. Aryans came and educated us. They wrote the Vedas and all it has to study. Then it will become after some time physics enlightenment will come. What will happen? Then it has to be told. The solar system is is told, and if the sun is there, and all the planets are revolving around the sun like this, revolving, revolving, and then it's amazed by that vision. And then along the way, you quietly introduce. You know what? The sun is stationary, really speaking. No plan. All planets are moving around the sun. If the sun were to revolve around the earth, what happens to the other planets? What happens to this planetary motion and all? And then the child says, yeah, yeah, that's not possible. Then how how, how this day and night and all that? Hey, that's magic. And so you show the, you show the sun's rotation. That's another moment. Sun is by itself rotating like this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh means what? Initially, you talk about the revolution of the sun around the earth. That is like sopa become sun. Okay. And then later on, you negate that sopa become sun has no revolution at all, really speaking. Even though your experience is like that, we'll first address your experience first. Then, once you ca calm down, then we'll come back to the real nature of Surya, Devata. And then that's how it works. So, the first one is what? First one is accepting what the student says as true. Student says, Jagat Karyam Asti. The world exists. It's a product. All right, we'll assume it's a product. You're correct. It has to be a product. Somebody must have created the world. Brahman is the creator of the world. Then slowly, you take away that 
take away the karitvam status for Jagat. How do you take away the karitvam of Jagat? Hey, Jagat is Mithya. Jagat is Mithya. Like this. Pot was created by the pot maker. Okay, this is an example. So you need a creator like pot maker. But pot, just look at pot. Pot is an object. Correct. Pot asti. Gataha asti. Gataha asti, if you say. This gatahas astitvam, if you analyze. Gataha asti, we accept. Then afterwards, we ask question, what is this astitvam of gataha? Astitvam of gataha is borrowed from brittika. Brittika asti. Primarily, brittika asti. And then, Gataha Asti is then questioned. Then that Asti of Gataha is what? Borrowed Asti. We saw all this last time. Pravilapana Shruti. We saw the Pravilapana Mandala. And so, you can at best say, pot as though exists. Because existence doesn't belong to pot. Pot doesn't have existence. Existence belongs to clay. And then pot is projected on the clay. Existence of the pot is projected on the clay. That projection is called Adhyaropaha. Adhyaropaha, technical word in Sanskrit. And then later on, you say, you, you analyze this and you say, you know what? The existence belongs to clay. I see clay exists. There is no pot separate from clay at all. Clay exists, pot exists and all if you say. It's not like so many objects are existing. Only clay exists. What is mithya? What is mithya? We give a word called mithya. Therefore, therefore, when the when the when the existence of pot itself is the status of the existence of pot is is the, the absolute nature of the existence of the pot is negated completely. But this part itself negated completely. Then what happens? Then you can then you say clay asti. That negation is called apavadaha. First, accepting part exists is called adhyaropaha. Then understanding the real nature of the pot as clay, which always exists, is called apavadaha. So this sutram, this mantra. Okay, this mantra highlights that that Adhyaropa Pavada. So, Adhyaropa Kale Brahma Jagat Karanam Brahma Asti Apavada Kale Apavada Kale Atva Bhavaha Prasidati. We are going to see what Shankara is going to say. Apavada Kale means Apavada Kale Hirupadikam Brahma Ahamasmi Iti Prasidati. There's technical words there we use. And some, Swamiji gives this example. The teacher is teaching. And then after afterwards, every, the shishyas are there, guru is there, class is going on. Then all students have left. All students have left the class. Who is left in the in the room? The teacher is left. But teacher can't be left. Teacher status is there. Only if students are there. Students are not there. There is no teacher. A person is left. That's all you can say. Teacher is left means teacher, teacher is always in relation to students. Students are not there means teacher also won't be there. Person is left. That's all you can say. And so that status also is there. Karyam is there means Karanam can be talked about. If karyam itself is negated, karyam asti, the astitvam of karyam itself is questionable. Then where is the question of karanatvam? How can you say Brahma is karanam? Brahma asti I can accept. Brahma asmi I can accept. But karyam asti itself is questioned. So that is the idea. When karyatvam is negated, karanatvam has to be negated. It's automatically negated. So the it's a very beautiful way 
अध्यारोपभवाभ्या निष्प्रपंचम प्रपंचते सो दिस इज से शिष्या सुखबोधार्थम तत्व कल क्रम सो दट क्रम अध्यारोप एंड अपवाद क्रम दट मेथड इज यूजफुल very useful and used by the teachers like that by by our shastram like that this particular uh, shloka says that anyway that's not important but if you understand adhyaropa and apavada so what about gold ornaments example that we are very good at understand so bangle is a product i wish i had a bangle it's so long since i saw a bangle all these things golden something i should have no on my desk it's useful no what a what a shame right uh, clay pot is good i think but uh, angle i think there pop so gold bangle okay bangle asti bangle as an ornament bangle as and then then what is the cause of this bangle we ask the question kancharam is the cause of this bangle means gold Gold is the cause of this bank. Okay, forget the nimitta karana. <clears throat> Just gold is the cause of the bank. Then, okay, gold is the cause of the bank. Now, is gold? I mean, is bangle separate from gold? Is bangle separate from gold? Then bangle is not separate from gold. Bangle is gold. Bangle is gold. What about gold? Is gold bangle? No, 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 no. Gold can't be bangle because because in my locker. i have i open the locker in the bank and then i see lot of lot of ornaments golden ornaments are there if gold were bangle then gold cannot be necklace then gold cannot be this gold cannot be ring so many things are there so gold is not bangle bangle mm. is gold gold is gold only one can take on any form all right so bangle is not separate from gold Okay, then what about the astitvam of bangle? Then bangle asti when you say it's borrowed astitvam. It is not the astitvam of bangle at all. It is the astitvam of gold. Gold asti, gold asti, gold was also gold asi tapi, gold asi tapi, gold asti, gold bhavishyas, bhavishyati also. Everything is gold. Bangles astitvam. That's why it's coming and going. Agama pai it is comes and goes. Any time you decide, no, this is old-fashioned bangle. I need a new-fashioned bangle. If you say, then sure, bangle can, the astitvam of bangle can be removed completely. Why it is removed completely? Because it did not exist in the first place. That is what Shastra will say. What exists cannot be, cannot be removed. Na sato vidyate bhava ha, na bhavo vidyate sata ha. Second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Asato vidyate bhava. Asatya. What doesn't exist cannot have existence. Seems very obvious. Na bhavo vidyate sata. Hey, for sat, what exists cannot have non-existence. Na abhava ha vidyate sata. So all those ideas are brought together here. So when the existence of the world the product the karyam is questioned is negated then the causal status of the so called cause brahma also is negated negated okay this is, this is the idea here and so that same thing is applied to the jagat and brahma and so here in this mantra as we said that brahma asmi is called as tattva bhava and shankaracharya will use different words so let's look at this bhashyam asti iti eva atma upalabdhavya satkarya buddhyadi upadihi buddhyadi upadihi so atma so shankara is introducing the word atma because the mantra doesn't say what asti kim asti mantra is not saying okay and so shankara is saying atma asti iti upalabdhavya 
Atma must be understood as existent. Exists. Atma exists. I exist. Brahma exists. Has to be. That's the way it should be understood. And uh, what is this Atma? What is this Atma? <clears throat> Atma is Satkarya. Satkarya. Sat here refers to Jagat. Jagat Karya. Sat Jagat Eva Karyam Esyasaha. Is what? The Atma is that for which the world is an effect, which is the cause of the effect called the world. Atma is that which is the cause of the Karyam. Karyam here means, and which is Sat. Atma is the cause whose product is the whose product which is karyam is the world sat that means world here okay jagat jagat karya atma jagat karya because jagat exists you know world exists that is a car perception so that is how you have to start sat karya and then further it is also atma is buddhyani upadihi the Atma is that which has many upadis, especially when it comes to the jiva, buddhyadi upadi. This whole shariram deha is an upadi for Atma. Atma has taken a form as it were. Every form is an upadi. So buddhi adi upadi. Whatever you can attribute, whatever you know of this body is the upadi for Atma. <clears throat> it's the form that Atma takes. Exactly like Gataha is a upadi <coughs> for the clay. Vritika yaha upadi hi gataha. Upadi hi form. Nama rupa and all this. Same thing. So that kind of atma. Asti iti eva upalabdhapyaha. Must be understood in that manner. Alright. That's. That's alright. Then. Let's read the next sentence or two. Yadatu Yadatu Tadrahitaha Tadrahitaha Avikriyaha Atma Avikriya Atma Karyamcha Karyamcha Karana Vyatire Kena Karana Vyatire Kena Na Asti Na Asti Vacharam Banam Vikaro Namadeyam Vacharam Banam Vikaro Namadeyam Mritika Iti Eva Satyam Mritika iti eva satyam. Iti shrute he. Iti shrute he. Yeah. We'll pause with you. So it's going to explain the process. Not new to you. <coughs> Yadatu tadrahitaha avikriyaha atma. We'll come back to that sentence later. You can put a full stop after atma. We'll look at this karyam cha. Karyam cha. In this particular setup. You have a Karanam Dhamma and you have Karyam Jagat. Okay. So what about that? Karyam Cha Karana Vyatirekena Nasti. Vyatirekena distinct from, separate from the Karyam, the world, is, is not distinct from, it is not separate from Karanam. Karyam is not separate from Karanam. And so this is huge for, for Advaita Vedanta. This is it. This is why Vivarta Upadana Karanam, all these things we say. And the Nimitta, see, when we talk of the creator of the pot is pot maker. Pot maker is not here. He is there somewhere else. And so pot maker is different from the created object pot. And so examples, that's why it suffers some problems. So we stick with clay as the cause. Okay. But uh, you have to, the idea of creator creation has to undergo a massive transformation and of, the, of this this thing. What transformation? Karyam cha karana vyatire kena nasti. A. When it comes to this jagat, you can't say Ishwara is separate from the world. He created the world 
like the pot maker created the pot. Mm -hmm. Not possible. Why not possible? Because Ishwara is there. Okay. Then where did he go to get the material? He didn't knock on the neighbor's door and then say, I want some material. I'm creating the world. He can't do that because the world itself is not created. There's no material. Then, Yatha Udra Namihi, Srijate Granna Techa, Mundaka Pusha. Hey, just like the spider, it didn't go somewhere to borrow the spider, the, the material to create the web. It, it came out of itself. That means what? The Upadana Karanam material cannot be separate from the Nimitta Karanam Ishwara. Therefore, the two are identical. This identical nature of Nimitta Karanam and Upadana Karanam has to be brought in. So he's saying here, Karyam. Therefore, once both are identical, then the Karyam has to be pervaded by the Karanam. Whatever Karyam, Jagat is Karyam, it has to be pervaded by Brahma. It has to be pervaded by Ishwara. That is how, that's the science of this Vedanta. Okay, that's the, that's the, that's the understanding. And so, that is the Karyam, Karana Vithireke, and Asti. Exactly, like the pot is not separate from clay. But pot maker is different. We can't apply that logic to this creation, you know. But for the world, Jagat, we can apply it. And then, he is now quoting. He is now quoting a very important mantra. Where our our Rudhalaka, the father is teaching the son, Sveta Ketu, in Chandogya Upanishad. Okay? After a lot of teaching, finally the father says, Hey, Soumya, okay? Yatha Soumya, you can note down the number. Uh, I don't know if you have written the number here. But, uh, yeah, it's there here. Right? 614. 614. Yeah, 614 of Chandogya Upanishad. And, uh, <clears throat> So there he says, Yatha Soumya Ekena Mritpindena Sarva Mrinmayam Vijnatam Syat. Hey, just like if you know one lump of clay, if you know one lump of clay, then you know the entire world of clay objects is pervaded by this lump of clay. And so then he says, Vacharam Banam Vikaro Namadheyam. If clay pervades the world of clay objects, all that is there is clay. But then there are so many objects I see in front of me. How can you say all that is there is clay? Yeah, so many objects are there. Still all that is there is clay. All that is there was clay. All that is there is clay. All that is there will be clay also. Then what about all these pots and vases and this and that, you know, big pots and, you know, small pots and so many beautiful things that are there. Yeah. It is all what? Vacharam bhanam vikaro namadheyam. Okay. Vikaraha. <coughs> vikaraha here means, kara has two meanings, right? Here vikaraha, brahma and always. What is that? Chain. Kara means change. One meaning. Another meaning of vikaraha is rupam. <clears throat> rupa, form. So here that second meaning of the word vikara has to be used. <clears throat> or in better, product. Product is better. Second meaning is product, not form. Product. So here the meaning of vikara, product. Means karyam. Vacharambanam karyam namadeya. All right. Vacharambanam. Vak. Vak Arambhanam. It is a, a world, Karyam, which rests on speech, which rests on words uttered. It's nothing but an utterance. Namadeyam. Utterance means existing on the on the on the vocal cords, on the and the organ of speech. The world is on the tongue. There are many translations to this. Very difficult to translate. Basically, it's a it's an utterance and it is called Namadheyam. What is Namadheyam? How many of you have heard the word Namadheyam? 
Namadheya. Many of you have heard, you know, they use the word Namadheya. You know, when they talk, when these all these Vedic Pandits talk to each other, you have to watch them. The language they use is, they won't ask, what's your name? Aapka naam kya hai? Like that, they won't say, Namadheya. That's like saying, aap, you know, tum nahi bolte, aap bolte, na? So like that. So, they won't even say, aapka, they will say, Namadheya. Namadheya means, aapka naam kya hai? That is the meaning of the statement. So, Dheya Pratyaya is Swarthe, means Namadheyam, Nama Eva Namadheyam. You can, you can scratch off Namadheyam and say, you can Nama, both are identical. Namadheya means Nama. So, vach, Vacharam Bhanam Vikaro Namadheyam means what? The Vikara, the Karyam, the effect, the product is nothing but a name resting on the vocal apparatus. Coming out of Vak Arambanam. Coming out of your own mouth. That's all it is. That's all the Karyam is. <clears throat> That's all the world is. That's all anything is. That's what he's saying. Because Astitpam Nasti, what to do? If it was a real existent thing, we can talk about it. And uh, Namadheyam. And then he concludes by saying, Vrittika iti eva satyam. Iti. Vrittika iti eva satyam. Hey, that satyam of this world of clay objects you are looking at is Vrittika. What is Vrittika? Vrittika. Vrdeva Vrittika. Exactly like Nama eva Nama Dheyam. Vrdeva Vrittika. Vrid means clay. Mud. Vrid. And so Vrittika iti eva satyam. Eva Satyam. Okay, Mrittika Eva Satyam. It is Shrutehe. Okay. Are you saying clay is the Satyam of this Jagat? No, no. Clay is not the Satyam of the Jagat. Clay is the Satyam of the examples I've been talking about, the world of clay objects. For that world, clay is the Satyam. Then, because a boy, you know, is after all a boy, we have to explain all these things to him. He should not take clay as Satyam, you know. And uh, if he takes clay as satyam, the teacher will say, you have clay in your head. Like that they will say. So, you should not take clay as satyam. Uh, then he gives uh, another example. Nakha nikrintanam. Nakha nikrintanam. Upanishad is talking. Nail cutter. If you have any doubt that nail cutter was invented by America or something, they say. Upanishad is talking about Nakha nikrintanam. Go do research on Chandogya Upanishad. Find out when it was uh, generated, created, authored, whatever you want to say it, you have to keep on going back. Calendar has to shift back. There he is talking about Nakha Nikrantanam. You analyze the Nakha Nikrantanam and then once you analyze it, once you understand the Satyam of Nakha Nikrantanam as Krishnayasam. Krishnayasam means iron, metal. Then you understand the whole world of metal objects as just pervaded by iron. That's what he says. Okay. Like this, he gives two, three examples. So he says, for example, Yatha Somya Yekena Nakha Nikrinta Nena Sarvam Krishna Yasam Vignatam Syat. Just like by knowing this one nail cutter, you will understand that the entire world of metallic objects is pervaded by this Krishna Yasam, Krishna Yasam, that metal, iron. Okay. Vacharam Banam Vikaro Namadheyam. Not Vrittika Ityeva Satyam. It has to be Krishna Yasam Ityeva Satyam. In that example, Krishna Yasam is the example. Therefore, that metal alone is Satyam. Saumya, Saadesho Bhavati. Like that it goes in the Upanishad. So, gold ornaments means Kanchanam Eva Satyam. Like that we can, we can say. In the case of the Jagat, Brahma Eva Satyam. Okay. And so Brahma Eva. So Vrittika Iti Eva Satyam. Eva Kara means there is no other Satyam. Brahma is Satyam. That is how it is to be understood. So what did we see here? Karyam Cha Karana Vyatirekena Nasti Vacharam Banam. So he is giving that Shruti. Pramanam and saying from that Shruti Pramanam, we understand that the product is not separate from the cause of the product. 
not separate at all. Okay, now look at the previous portion that we skipped. Yada tu tadrahitaha avikriyaha atma. Okay, so again. Yada. When that atma, which is avikriyaha, tadrahitaha. Avikriya. Tadrahita means what? Prapancha rahita. Karya rahita. Okay. Because earlier he said Sapkarya Bhyadi Upadihi is referring to Tadvino. So the Karya Sadkarya Rahita. When that Atma, which is really independent of the world. Sadkarya Rahita. You and I say world exists, but Atma, Tadrahita. When you look at Atma as without the world, Brahma as without the universe. Okay. And Avikriya. Better to look at it this way. Tadrahita Atma Avikriya Bhavati. Swamiji says, add the word Bhavati. Avikriya Bhavati. Means what? It has no karanam and karyam status. Atma has no karanam status. Means karya karana vilakshanaha bhavati. Vikriya little meaning is changing, unchanging. Atma is unchanging. Okay. Unchanging means here what? Hey, for something to be a cause, the cause has to undergo a change to become the effect. When you say Karanam, A is the cause of B, A has to undergo change. Every chemical reaction is A plus B is equal to C plus D. A disappears, B disappears, C comes and D comes. Everything is like that. The kitchen is full of change. Cause, effect, cause, effect. You always want to eat the effect. And you put all the causes and then effect comes. So, whenever there is cause and effect, you talk about cause and effect, change is there. Avikriya. But Atma is Avikriya. There can't be any change. And when you say Atma cannot brook change, it means Atma cannot have a real status of cause. Karanam is not to be taken as literal. Atma cannot be the cause. Okay. Like that he's saying Avikriya Bhavati. Very important statement that is. And uh, then Let's read the next sentence. That will conclude the, the thought process here. That's where we have to read from. Tada. Tada. Yeah, iti shruti, I didn't explain. Iti shruti means from that shruti. It's just shruti statement, you know, that's what he's saying. Tada tasya. Tada tasya. Nirupadhika, uh, sorry, Nirupadhikasya. Nirupadhikasya. Alingasya. Alingasya. Sadasadadi. Sadas, 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 sadasadadi. Sadasadadi. Pratyaya. Pratyaya. Vishayatva. Vishayatva Varjitasya Varjitasya Atmanaha Atmanaha Tattva Bhavaha Bhavati Tattva Bhavaha Bhavati You can put a full stop there if it is not there. Tenacha Tenacha Rupena Rupena Atma Atma Upalabdhavyaha iti anuvartate. Upalabdhavyaha iti anuvartate. So Shankara is continuing that discussion. <clears throat> Go explaining the second quarter of the mantra. Second quarter is what? Tattva bhavena cha. 
and the word tattva bhavena, you won't see in this sentence, right? What do you see? Tattva bhavaha, you see. And then he's saying tena. So tattva bhavaha and tena together refer to tattva bhavena. Tena means what? By that. Tattva bhavaha, by that. So tattva bhavaha plus tena should be understood as tattva bhavena, which is there in the mulam. I hope you are noting that. Okay. Tada. Tada means what? In that case. In that case means what? Yada. Tu tadrahitaha avikriya atma bhavati. A. When atma is understood as avikriya, then what? Then what do we get out of that? Tasya nirupadikasya alingasya. Then now atma is nirupadika. Atma has no upadi. Atma is unconnected with any form. Atma is not connected with the karya. Karanam is unconnected with the karya. What is, suppose I ask you, what is the connection between pot and clay? What is the relationship between pot and clay? We ask. Clay is pot. Appearance. Superimposition. Yeah. Pervades. Clay pervades pot. They pervade spot. See, you have to you have to resort to all these vague statements because, because there are two no two objects, clay and pot. Therefore, relationship. Now we have to think. Yeah, what is it, Meera? Nama Rupa. Nama Rupa. That is fine. Pot is Nama Rupa. But what is the relationship between clay and pot? That's what I'm asking. Karya. Karana Karya. Karana Karya. Karana Karya. Karana Karya. But we are understanding this Karana Karya even more. Okay. And so what do we say here? We say, what is a superimposition on clay? Clay is Adhishtanam. Clay is Adhishtanam. Clay always is, always will be. And so it is Adhishtanam. It's poor clay. And people are confusing this clay with so many other things. And so clay is Adhishtanam. And what is what? Adhyaropita. In superimposed. In English, what do you say? Adhyaropaha means superimposition. And removing the superimposition means for understanding that the pot is a superimposition of clay is called apavadaha. Very big thing it is. Apavadaha. The movement of the sun is adhyaropaha. Superimposition. Apavada is what? Negating the movement of the sun. How do you negate the movement of the sun? All of us should go and then form a committee and then we should take a flight uh, all the way to the sun. Then we have to have a dialogue and then we have to say, stop. You can't move like this. If you move like this, then all planets will suffer. And so, no, you don't have to do anything like that. The movement of the sun is negated purely cognitively. Correct? Cognitively negated. The sun is not moving. Where is the question of asking the sun not to move? Making an effort to make the sun not move. No, you don't have to. No effort is needed because sun is not moving. Therefore, understanding that the sun is not moving is called apavada. He's negating the movement of the sun. Same thing here also. Tada tasya nirupadikasya alingasya. Yeah, that atma, that brahma, which is nirupadikam, which has no upadi at all, and which is alingaha. Alingaha. Is what it has Ashabdam Asparsham Arupa Mapyayam Tatharasam Nitya Maganda Vacha Yat. Hey, nothing you can't, there's nothing to point to Brahma. Some quality must be there, only then you can point to Brahma. It is Ashabdam. And then Taitiri Upanishad so says, Yato Vacho Nivartante Aprapya Manasasaha. So that from which words just come back, reflect back to you, bounce back at you. No word is adequate. Even to say that Brahma is Akaranam also is not, uh, it becomes an attribute for Brahma. Shastram will say later. Karanam, Akaranam, all these words are all okay for initial understanding only they come. But finally, it is Nirupadikam, it is Alingam, means has no indicator. Nothing that you can refer to. It's called Alingam. That is why all this negation, Alingam, Ashabdam, Asparsham, all negative. See, all negative words are there. Correct? 
Tell me something positive means what? What will you say? Nothing is available. You can't say. That's why Alingasya. Sad Asadadi Pratyaya Vishayatva Varjitasya. <laughs> Varjitasya. That which does not have. What does this Atma not have? Vishayatva Varjitasya. Vishayatva means as an object. You, there is nothing like that. You can't say, point to Brahman as an object. Why? Of course, because Brahman is the subject, right? So, Vishayatva, you can't objectify Brahma at all. How can you not objectify Brahma? Sad, Asad, Adi, Pratyaya, Vishayatva. Pratyaya. Pratyaya means, you can't objectify Brahma by saying things like Sat also, you can't objectify. Sat also is not correct. Asat, what about Asat? Of course, Asat is not correct. Adi, any other idea you have about Brahma is not going to be adequate. In fact, it is wrong. Parjitasya, Shankara says. Parjitasya. So, even the word Sat, initially it helps you understand existence, etc. You say, what exists? Then in this room, elephant does not exist. And then uh, yesterday, some friend came, friend existed. Now the friend is not there here. This is all our idea. The existence is a coming and going existence. Permanent existence, you can't really. You are the only permanent existence. And he's saying here, Chakra is now coming to what Mandukya is teaching. This is why we teach Mandukya Upanishad towards the end of the course. After three, four years of study, we teach. Because it comes with a big bang. And the sound also we can hear sometimes. So he suddenly says, Jagat will not exist, he says. And then you have to be able to handle that statement, you know. <laughs> and so, this karyam cannot be revealed even by the words sat or asat. Or sat and asat. Mishram also. No, it is sometimes existent, sometimes non-existent. Mishram. There is some play between existence and non-existence. All these things, ideas, will not work for Brahma. Okay. And so, we, we saw this in the 13th chapter. Okay, 13th chapter. I'll tell you what this is. Okay, so you can note this down. 13.12. 13.12. Nyeyam yattat pravakshyami yadnyatva mrita mashnute Anadimatparam Brahma Nasatana Saduchate Nasatana Saduchate Nasat Tan Tat Na Asat The Chetragna, you know, Chetra Chetragna Vibhaga Yoga. It's a chapter, you know, thirteen. So the Chetragna Chapi Mam with the Sarva Chetreshu Bharata, he said in the second or the third shloka. And then later on in the twelfth shloka, he says, Tatina sat, tatina asat. Means what? If you say sat, then you are subjecting sat to no, the, the, the dissipation, subjecting sat to change. And so that kind of sat, Brahma is not. Because what exists in your mind, what exists, will we need not exist after some time. That is the only existence you and I know. And so here it is neither sat nor asat, like that. Should. Krishna had already introduced before. And uh, Guruji, uh, this, uh, this was uh, discussed by that Calcutta Swamiji uh, uh, in a special session. Correct. Correct. Okay. That when he spoke last year. And uh, that was his last talk, I think. After that, we he was planning to come, but we didn't have. So, that's right. Nasat Nyayam Yattat was his favorite mantra, Swamiji said. And so, Pratyayaha, look at this, the word Pratyayaha is what? It means Vrittayaha, thoughts also. Pratyaya, Pratyaya means words, words means thoughts. Tad Asatari Pratyaya, Pratyaya means Vrittis, or words also. And, uh, so those who know Mandukya, Mandukya talks about Chatushpada, Atma Chatushpada. Atma is four parts. 
four parts atma has. Never heard this before. And so there are uma. So the gross world is a subtle world. Samashti sukshma is u, and then ma is samashti karanam. Okay, karanam. That karanam status of Brahma is this third part. Then their Mandukya says, no, no, Brahma is not even Tritiyaha Padaha. It is Chatush Padaha. It is, it is a fourth. Fourth is what? It is neither of the three. It is neither gross, nor subtle, nor karanam. It, it just is. Like that, Mandukya introduces that Brahma as that which is none of the three states of experience, etc. Okay. So, Chaturtaha Padaha, also called Amatraha, there in Mandukya. So, that Amatratvam, Shakra is bringing here. And so, there are other examples and Pramanas are all coming. So, Adi. Mandukya says, Asti nasti, asti nasti, ti, nasti nasti, ti va punaha, chalasthiro bhaya bhavaihi, avruno teva balishaha. And then there is a mantra. Yeah, Karika, 83. Mandukya. Vadupada has written a Karika to the Mandukya operation. It's a very small operation. And so, had to elaborate. It's so short, cryptic, that somebody had to write something more. And that more is called Karik Gaudapada, okay, who is, who is uh, Adi Shankaracharya's Guru's Guru, wrote this Karik. So that Karika is being quoted here. And say, and he says, Balisha, all the children, people who don't think, they say Asti, Nasti, Asti, Nasti, like that, they say all these things. And all that is all childish, like that he say, Gaudapada is saying. Okay. So, so what words do wise people use for Brahma to describe Brahma? Nothing. Nothing. Silent. They will become silent. If you ask them what is Brahma, they will just look at you like that. <laughs> Very beautiful it is. Remember that Asmitpam, but Brahma exists. Okay, that is there. So, just because you can't use words doesn't mean it does not exist. Okay. So, where are we here? All right. Alingasya stad asadadi pratya vishayatva varjitasya atmanaha tattva bhavaha bhavati. That is a part here. See. So, that kind of atma, which is alingam, which has no indicators, which is sad asadadi pratya vishaya varjit. Okay, Vajita, that kind of Atma. Tattva Bhavaha Bhavati, Tena Charupena. Okay, Tattva Bhavaha Bhavati. Yeah. The reality of Atma, Tattva Bhavaha. The true nature of Atma reveals itself. Bhavati will appear, will show itself, will show its face, will make itself revealed to you. Tattva bhavaha bhavati tena cha rupena atma upalabhya upa iti anuvartate Hey, he's saying you have to complete the sentence. The sentence is not complete. It's too cryptic. Punishment statements are all too cryptic. And you don't have to, you should not impose all these grammatical rules on the Upanishad mantras. And we have to complete the sentence. So he says, Anuvartate. Anuvartate means you have to bring in these ideas, the Upalabdhavya. What are the words you have to bring in? Tenacha rupena atma upalabdhavya iti Anuvartate. A, look at the mantra. Mantra says, Tattva bhavena cha. That's all it says. That's all. The sentence is that's all that is said. Ubayoho comes with the next line. Okay. So you can put a full stop after Tattva Bhavena Cha. So he says, don't stop it there. Tattva Bhavena Cha Rupena Atma Upalabdhavya. That is the way to complete that sentence. Okay. Because Upalabdhavya was there in the previous first quarter also. 
and the, we are talking about Atma. Therefore, Atma Upalabdhapya. Atma must be understood in its true nature, Tattva Bhavenacha, as its true nature. Cha, why Cha is that? Because previously Atma is to be understood as Asti, Asti iti Upalabdhapya. Then Tattva Bhavena, that means Tattva Bhava is not same as Asti. It is something else. What is some, something else which means what? Sad Asad. No, you can't use all these words. Mixture also, you can't use all these words. And uh, <clears throat> the true nature of Atma means <clears throat> Nirupadika Atma. Atma that has no Upadi at all. That has no Karanam status at all. Like that it must be understood. Which means what? Asmi. Asmitvena Upalabdhavya. Like that. Um, this one, Mani Prabha says, Prabhavena. Yeah, Mani Prabha says that, I think, which uh, Swami Paramatha you know, highlights in his talk. Because I must come into the picture. From Asti, I must go to Asmi. With all this understanding. So I think that we understand. Tattva Bhavena Cha. Okay. Cha also uh -huh. must. That tattva, can you explain it once again, Guruji? I didn't get it from tattva. Tattva bhavena, what it means? Tattva bhava is the true nature of Brahman. But this, tattva the, tattva is, it is not ta itva, it is ta it it vava. Tattva means the truth. Correct spelling. spelling is that, is it? There is a Tasse Bhava Tatalo. Twa Twa Pratya is there. We'll talk about it after the class. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, so we have completed that. Let's read the, the next sentence here. Tatra Abhi. Tatra Abhi. Tatra Abhi. Ubhayo ho. Ubhayo ho. Sopadhika Nirupadhika yo ho. So padhika nirupadhika yo ho. Astitva tatva bhava yo ho. Astitva tatva bhava yo ho. Nirtharan artha shashti. Haran artha shashti. Purvam. Purvam. Asti iti eva upalabdhasya. Asti iti eva upalabdhasya. Atmanaha Atmanaha Satkaryo Padhikrita Satkaryo Padhikrita Astitva Pratyayena Astitva Pratyayena Upalabdhasya Ityarthaha Upalabdhasya Ityarthaha Yeah. So now Shankara is explaining. The third quarter, which begins from Ubayohu. Ubayohu is the last word of the second quarter, right? So he is bringing Ubayohu, continuing. <clears throat> so Tatrapi, Tatrapi means what? Of these two things, I told you, what did I tell you? Asti iti upalabhyaha, then Asmi iti upalabhyaha, just for easy understanding, or Saguna Brahma. Asti, I told you. And Nirgunam Brahma also Asti. Don't get carried away by Sagunam Brahma. Sagunam Brahma is important. Sagunam Brahma is the gateway to Nirgunam Brahma. The path to Nirgunam Brahma goes through Sagunam Brahma. See, he's saying, Sopadika Nirupadika Yoho. Vayoho means what? Vayoho means of the two. Of the two. And there he says, Nirdharanartha Shashti. Shashti Vibhakti brought some grammar he is bringing here. Shashti, right? All these things is Ubayoho is Shashti. 
Sopadika, Nirupadika, Yoho. All these things are Shashti Vibhakti. Shashti means what? Sixth case. Sixth case, Dvivachana. Dvivachana. Now, the sixth case, there are several types of sixth case. One is, so Ramasya Bhrata Lakshmanaha. Lakshmana is the brother of Ram. That Ramasya of Ram. Sambandha Shashti, it's called. It's called Sambandha Shashti. Or you can say something like this. Let's use the same word. Bharata Shatru Gnau Rama Lakshmano Ho Bhratarau. Let me repeat that again. Bharata Shatru Gnau Rama Lakshmano Ho Bhratarau. What is the meaning? Bharata and Shatru are the brothers of Rama and Lakshmana. Rama Lakshmana Ho because this. Uh, Tatra, Ubayoho, and all is coming. Jewel, you know. Devachana. That's why I'm giving that example. <clears throat> so this Rama Lakshmana. Okay, Rama Lakshmana. Is what? Is that that particular Sambandha. Sambandha. There is a connection between these two brothers and these two brothers. The connection is their brothers. Okay. This is not that kind of connection. This Shashti is not a connection. He is saying it is Nirdharanartha Shashti. There is another Shashti called Nirdharane Shashti. Nirdharane Shashti means what? Rama Lakshmano Ho Ramaha Jeshtaha. There also Rama Lakshmano Ho. But there, among Rama and Lakshmana, Rama is elder. Rama is older. Whatever. Jeshtaha. Rama Lakshmano Ho, Ramaha Jeshtaha. Among, there also Shashti Vipakti only, sixth case only. Same word Rama Lakshmano Ho that came in the previous sentence, you know, this uh, uh, Bharata Shatrugno and all we said. They are also same form, but there there is a relationship. Here, they are not, you should not say relationship. You have to use the word among. A M O N G. Saradamya. Saradamya. Huh? Okay, among, among, among the two, Saratamim or not, we don't know. Among. So that, that usage comes in Saptami also, no? That type, that usage. Uh, so then, then. Okay, sometimes Saptami might be used for that. Okay. They should. Yeah, among also can, can come. Okay. They should. All right. So. This is called Nirdharana Shashti. He's saying, he's, he's giving that grammatical note to us. And so, Ubhayo means what? Nirdharana Shashti means what? Among this Sagunam Brahma, Nirgunam Brahma, and Shakara makes it clearer, among the Sopadika, Sopadika Brahma, let's say, Sopadika Atma, and Nirupadika Atma, and he's giving another word. Astitva Tattva Bhava Yoga. Hey, this mantra is saying Asti, therefore Astitva. And the mantra is using the word Tattva Bhava. So among these two, Astitva Tattva Bhava Yoga. Oh, among those two, correct? So just all this, the Bhayoho, to explain that among those two, and by in this process, he is using all these words. Nirupadika, you know, Tattva Bhava refers to Nirupadikam. Tattva Bhava refers to Nirgunam. Okay. A couple of things to mention. I'll mention it shortly. Okay. Then, then what? Astitva Tattva Bhava Yoko Nirdharana Shashti Purvam Asti Iti Eva Upalabhapyasya so then, for that person, Astitiyeva Upalabdasya Purushasya, talking about that person who has understood Asti Iti, Atma Asti Iti, Brahma Asti Iti, Sagunam Brahma Asti Iti, Asti Iti Eva Upalabdasya Purushasya, for that person, and Purva, Purva means previously, as we discussed before, person has understood Asti. Okay. Then what? Atmanaha Satkarya Upadi Krita Astitva Pratyena Upalab 
Dhasya iti artaha. Okay, he is explaining that. Asti iti eva upalabhasya is a, is a mulam, words from the mulam. So he is explaining. <coughs> that nature of atma, which is, which is satkarya upadhi krita, means it has an upadhi. Satkarya is what we said, jagatkarya, right? Jagat, prapanchakarya, we said. So, Atma, which has the Rupadi of this universe, which manifests as the universe, which, which is then only perceivable by all of us, okay, Upadi Krita Astitva Pratyayena. Pratyayena means understanding. Understood. Atma, which is understood through the universe, which is the manifestation of Atma, uh, and that universe, which is the Upadi of the Atma. Okay. For that person, ityarthaha, he says. That is the meaning of that particular third quarter of the mantra. Asti iti eva upalabhadhyasya purva. So for that person who knows Brahma asti, Atma asti, Brahma jagat karanam, sagunam Brahma jagat karanam, sopadika Brahma jagat karanam. For that person, something is going to happen. Okay, which is said in the fourth quarter of the mantra. Tattva Bhavaha Prasidati. We know what is what's going to come. Tattva Bhavaha Prasidati. So, for that person, Asmi iti jnanam vartate. Nirgunam Brahma asti. I can't stop with Sagunam Brahma. This is what is going to follow. It's what is going to come. And so, that's why he's going to say next sentence is starting with Paschad. Let's read that. We have a couple of minutes. Huh? See how this uh, minutes are also useful. <laughs> okay, we'll read this. Why don't we read and complete the train of thought? <clears throat> Paschat. Paschat. Pratyastamita. Pratyastamita. Sarvopadhi rupa. Sarvopadhi rupa. Sorry, Sarvopadhi rupa. Sarvopadhi rupa. Atmanaha Atmanaha Tatva Bhavaha Tatva Bhavaha Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the rest later. We'll pause there. So, Paschad, Purvam, the person knew Asti iti Jnanam he has. Hirup Asopadika Brahma Asti iti Karanam Brahma Jagat Karanam Asti iti Then what happened? Paschad after that, something else has to happen. He says, Pratyastamita Sarvopadi Rupaha. Pratyastamita. Pratyastamita means what? Astam. You know this. Suryam. Astam. Eti. Means what? The sun has set. Astam. That is the meaning of set. Negated. Pratyastamita. Something is negated. What is negated? Sarvopadi Rupaha. Sarva Upadi Negated. Pratyastamita Sarvopadi. Pratyastamitam Sarvopadi hi. Ramadare Samas. That Upadi of Atma, which is the Jagat, is negated. Negated means what? Hey, it doesn't have its own existence. Therefore, you it doesn't count. Really speaking, it doesn't count. Only Asti counts. Only Asti counts. Dependent Asti does not count. Therefore, Pratyastamita Sarvopadi Rupa, that kind of understanding of Atma, Atmanaha, Tattva Bhavaha, that is called Tattva Bhavaha. That is the true nature of Atma, which is free from all Upadis, which is referred to in the previous sentence as Nirupadika. Vayoho, Sopadika, Nirupadika, Yoho, he said. So, Nirupadika means free of any Upadhi. Prasidati, bring the verb from the mantra, Prasidati, reveals itself. Reveals itself. Suddenly, all of you are thinking, what meditation I should do so that I can see that Atma? You should not think like that. No meditation can reveal it. You know why? Because meditation is not a pramanam for Atma. Only Jnanam can reveal it. If I go into meditation as an ignorant person, I will come out of meditation as what? Very important question it is. Don't laugh at this. Please don't laugh. 
ಸ್ಟಡಿ <laughs> only that diksha if you want i can give other than that there is no other diksha pada diksha drishti diksha all these things will not work so no shortcuts here good so we will pause with that and continue this discussion thank you om apadam apahartaram dataram sarva sampadam loka bhiramam shri ramam bhuyo bhu ಕಾಲೇ ವರ್ಷತು ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯ ಪೃಥಿವೀ ಸಸ್ಯಶಾಲಿನೀ ದೇಶೋ ಶೋಭರಹಿತ ಸಜ್ಜನ ಸಂತು ನಿರ್ಭಯ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ